Police in Missouri and Kansas are searching for the men who raped three women. One suspect raped a woman at 43rd and Mission and another woman at 41st and Francis. This is in KCK. A woman also in Kansas City was raped yesterday morning near the Waldo area. Women who run along the trolley trail near 85th and Main Street where a woman was attacked want more security lights. Alyssa House, who runs about 25 miles a week and usually runs alone during the day, is one who'd like to see more lights. There's a few areas where there's some lighting, but even the lighting that is there is really dim and it's, you know, uh, sparse, it's spaced out. So, and there's some areas that are just flat out black. The Area Transit Authority owns the trail and issued this statement to NBC Action News saying, quote, We are very concerned about the recent assault that occurred along the trolley track trail in Waldo. We will assist police in their investigation in any way we can. Police on both sides of the state line warning people to be on high alert after three rapes in three days. Now, police believe the two assaults in the Rosedale neighborhood in KCK are connected. They say another suspect was behind a rape along the trolley trail in KCMO. Sloan Heller's in the newsroom with what you can do to protect yourself. Sloan, good morning. Good morning, Chris. So you might have gone to bed wondering if those two rape suspects have been caught. We just got off the phone with police in KCK as well as KCMO. It appears both suspects still on the loose. And so now women are probably wondering what can you do to protect yourself? Well, there are free self defense classes held throughout the year. Unfortunately, the next one is not until September. In the meantime, kickboxing classes, great way. They're held every day at gyms around the KC area. If you remember, by the way, the victim of the Prairie Village attack, Marty Hill, she had been taking kickboxing classes for one year before she was assaulted. She says the training saved her life. Gyms like title boxing, TMA are just some of the options you can check out. Police urging people to keep this description of the KCK suspect in their mind. Described as a black man weighing uh, somewhere between 110 and 130 pounds, between 5'6 and 5'8 in his 30s. Now he has two tattoos, one on his back that reads Misery's Child. And then he has a picture, another tattoo of a man praying. Now, we do not have a description of the Casey Mo suspect, except we know he was wearing a black mask and could be driving a white Mercury. So, again, those self defense classes, those kickboxing classes, not only a great way to learn training, but also really just build up your confidence. We're live in the newsroom this morning. Sloan Heller, NBC Action News today.